hello and welcome to Hope, the another edutaining episode of Create Simple Meals, where you know our only three rules are you must have passion, you must have patience, and you must be willing to practice. So today's uh, recipe is going to go super fast. It's a BLT skillet. So pretty much everything that goes into a BLT minus the lettuce, uh, but we're going to make it into a, a pasta skillet. So real simple recipe, folks, but before we get to that, Please, please, please hit that subscribe button if you're on YouTube. Tap that notification bell so you know that we're on. Please like and follow us on Facebook. Like, follow us on Instagram and tap into us on TikTok. For this show and all previous shows, please visit CreateSimpleMeals.com. For all email correspondence, email me at askme at CreateSimpleMeals.com. Hit that chat button while you're on there. And please share this video with your friends and family alike. So for the recipe, real simple, because you know bacon goes good with everything. All we're going to do today is we're going to brown off some, some bacon. We took eight, uh, uh, eight pieces of bacon. We're going to uh, already dice them up. We're going to cook them until they get nice and crispy. Take that out. We're going to uh, saute some uh, tomatoes, some garlic cloves, add a little bit of lemon juice, some salt and uh, pepper, and some Parmesan cheese. And that's going to be it, folks. Now been reading a couple little things here and there and all over the place and allegedly or apparently you're supposed to start your uh, bacon off you cook it in the pan I cook my bacon I ain't gonna lie when I'm having breakfast I cook my bacon either I in the oven or on this here skillet back here but you're supposed to start it off in a cold pan so let's go ahead get this started pan is cold I ain't gonna lie, folks, when I was sitting there, I was like, hey, man, you know, the steps to this recipe move so that gum fast, and although you do be trying to keep, uh, you know, the show to basically uh, under 30 minutes, I was like, well, maybe you should do all the, the dicing um, or the parsley or whatnot on, on camera. Then I thought about it. I drink, and drinking, talking, and chopping probably wasn't the best idea, so I decided... Now I'm going to go ahead and chop the uh, uh, parsley in advance. As y'all know, folks, there's very little pre-prep done before these recipes uh, are aired. Um, so one thing I did today was I did cut up the bacon. I did chop up the uh, uh, parsley. And um, I chopped up the tomatoes. But other than that, everything going to be done right here, live, and in memory, as they say. As always, folks, this show is brought to you by the Self-Employed Tax Guy. Uh, the first ever uh, tax company built from the ground up for you and me. Seth Lodge Planning, so for all your current and future travel needs, please hit up Seth Lodge Planning. For unique gift ideas, hit up For You by Me Creative Design. And for your customized shirts, hit up Petty Phrases, because if you got something to say, say it with your chest. Now, I don't, I don't have my resident uh, reader with me today. Uh, so if I don't get to your comments as they come in, Please don't, don't blame me. I will, as always, after the show uh, comes on or is aired, I will go back and answer any questions you have. But kind of hard, obviously, you can tell, to try and monitor cooking and then the video as well as the comments that's coming in. But if you're out there, folks, because nothing, I don't know who's out there. If you're out there, go uh, shout me out a hey, hi, ho, y'all, something like that. Let me know y'all in. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to start concentrating on my bacon. Now what you don't want to do, you don't want to move it too much because what the bacon is going to do, and you can crowd your pan, not too much, but you can crowd your pan. You see mine is somewhat crowded in there. Hey, Maisha, what's going on? Hey, I missed you on uh, Saturday, but I'm going to try and make the next event for sure. Um, you can crowd your, uh, your, your pan somewhat because bacon is going to shrivel. Now because we're doing bacon pieces, it ain't that big of a deal, but just as a, you know, uh, pro tip, pro as if I'm a pro pro tip um, when you add in bacon to a pan you can crowd it a little bit but not too much because it's going to shrivel up and shrink but you don't want to move it right away let that fat start rendering out which is also going to loosen up the bacon but also let that heat I think it's called the, the mallard reaction basically start browning and caramelizing uh, that bacon for you I'll be trying not to get into me in them, them technical terms because those Buddies and friends of mine that went to culinary school, they get trained on that stuff, so I don't want to say the wrong thing and mess up. I did a, a, a 
a goat cheese um, chicken or other the other night, and uh, somebody had uh, viewed it on Instagram, and they said, let's look like a keto meal. I don't know keto from low carb, so I'm like, could be, but I'm not a nutritionist, so I ain't gonna put all them uh, disclaimers in there. But speaking of keto and low carb, it's gonna, we're gonna stick with low carb. For the months of January and February, so keep that in mind for those of you who like those low carb meals, January and February is going to be all low carb months because uh, we're going on a, a trip to Jamaica and uh, y'all know this Greek God-like body don't build itself. You know, you got to do some work to it. So I need to go and lose some weight. So for January and February, I am going to do low carb in addition to myself going to the gym. No, no, it does not affect your Crenshaw takeover card. But since I showed up, for those of you who don't know, we, I am an alumni of the mighty Crenshaw High School. You can't live in America and not have heard of Crenshaw High School. But since I did show up, I get part of my card back. Again, if you are just now tuning in, we are doing a BLT skillet where the L and the BLT stands for linguine, and the recipe, real quick, we got some linguine that's already been cooked. Uh, we took eight pieces of bacon, we cut them up into little bite-sized pieces, and now we're browning those. After which, we're gonna take this out the pan, and we're gonna add in some plum tomatoes, a little bit of garlic, lemon juice, salt and pepper. Then we're gonna go ahead and toss back in uh, the linguine, and from there, top in that cheese, and that's gonna be the end of it. Now, I will say this, folks, because I'm real proud of my pasta, but it ain't something I can really do on the show. So the pasta, and y'all ain't got to do this. Go and get, you know, regular old, uh, dry pasta or get some uh, fresh pasta. I made my pasta. My, yeah, I'm, <laughs> my wife is, <laughs> I'm going to be naked in Tahiti. No. <laughs> um, old Metro Lines, Eddie Murphy movie. Uh, I made my own pasta. Now, if you like pasta the way that I do. And I ain't going to plug in no brands because they don't pay me. But if you like pasta the way that I do, I strongly recommend um, getting a uh, pasta maker because, I mean, it, it literally takes, and I'm, I'm not lying at all, you dump your flour, you dump your water, your egg mixture, and you hit the button, and your pasta is done in about 20 minutes tops. And if you've ever had fresh, you ever went to the store and bought fresh pasta, not the dry pasta, you know, you will see the vast difference in taste. So for those of you that got friends and family like to buy y'all gifts for Christmas, go and put a pasta maker on your, uh, on your wish list. This hit me because my ADD kicks in real bad. Now, this ain't got nothing to do with cooking. For those of you that pay bills, which is probably all of us, um... You know how you sign up for either cable or you got some automatic subscription and you know you set it up and you never really go back and check it. Now I ain't gonna call the company name because it might end up in a class action lawsuit but I have solar and my bill shouldn't be so high at the end of the year bill. And so I went through the day and analyzed my bill for the last two years and the company I'm with has been flat out gouging me and I'm talking about a large amount. Now, I have the time and capacity to go through this type of stuff, but uh, just a little tidbit in addition to cooking tips. Every so often, I usually do mine in uh, uh, November, December, but I did it earlier this year. Go back through all your old bills to make sure you ain't paying for something that you don't need to keep no more. And also to make sure that they ain't slipped in a, a charge on you that uh, you ain't supposed to be paying for. All right, folks, this pasta, I mean, this is a pasta, this bacon is rendering out so we can about two or three more minutes on there again if you're just now tuning in we are doing a blt uh pasta so it's basically brown off some bacon and we're going to toss in some tomatoes garlic lemon juice salt and pepper add in some cheese and toss in our linguine and that's going to do it for us as always please while you're sitting there waiting for this bacon to get done hit that subscribe button if you're on youtube tap that notification bell so we're on like and follow us on facebook Follow us on Instagram, and do not forget to tap into us on TikTok. For this show and all previous shows and recipes, visit CreatespleMills.com. 
Email me at askme at crazyformills.com. If you're on the website, hit that chat button. You can talk with me directly. And please, please, please share this video feed with your friends and family. I will say this, folks, over the last uh, couple of weeks, y'all have been doing me a, a great solid because I've been getting quite a few uh, new followers. No small part to the viewers sharing it, but also in part to uh, Milk It Media, who has been helping me out with uh, my production, uh, or not my promotion here lately. So we're doing our best to get this out to the masses because I do believe that anybody that can eat can cook but oftentimes we get intimidated by uh the cooking process and because of that we uh say, oh i can't cook i can't cook if you can eat trust me you can cook and also again because i've been asking for the last what about a year or so now if you have music i'm gonna start this campaign again this year if you are a musician artist and you have music that you would not mind me sharing on the show. I will shout out uh, the artists and whatever other demographics about the uh, music you want me to do. My only caveat is it can't be gospel and it can't have excessive cussing. It can't be gospel because y'all know from my earlier days, I'm subject to let one fly every now and again. And then it can't be cussing because I'm trying to stop letting them fly <laughs> every now and again. All right, so we're almost done. Let me go ahead, move this off to the side, and we're going to go ahead and drain this bacon. Now, if you want one of those that like your bacon a little bit crisper, by all means do that. And I'm going to tell you a little pro tip. If I was doing this in the house, which obviously I'm not, what I would have done was did this in the uh, oven and made the meal a whole lot easier to prepare versus doing it in a skillet. Also, cast iron skillets uh, give you a quicker char. So let me go ahead now and grab out these tomatoes. We're just going to toss these tomatoes in here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do some in, in, in a backwards order, but it's for a reason. I don't know if y'all can see all that browning in the bottom of there. So what I'm going to do just to preserve them juices is I'm going to do a quick deglaze on this pan. So as y'all see that lemon juice, and since it costs for lemon anyway, it ain't that big of a deal. I'm gonna go and do a quick deglaze on there. This is another benefit of watching the show, because the recipe can't tell you everything. That's just that's where it comes with the, you know, those three rules: passion, patience, and practice. Some things you just got to learn through experience, or as or mother wit, as they call it. All right, we're gonna toss in these tomatoes and. About two minced garlic cloves. Now I ain't gonna lie, y'all know me. Every time I tell y'all two minced garlic cloves, I'm lying. I put two because that's usually the standard balance, but uh, that was probably about four. <laughs> Just because I like garlic. I love me some garlic. Add me a little bit more of this lemon in here. And we're going to add in our salt and pepper. And we're going to bring that up slightly. Now, before I, after I get this all tossed in, uh, give y'all a better look in there. Once I get that all tossed how I want it, and these tomatoes look like I want to, I'm going to remove this pan slightly just so I can bring my pasta water back up to heat because I did cook the pasta in advance. Because um, something told me, you know, th those of you that watch Crazy Super Meals ain't trying to sit here and watch me boil pasta. So I boiled it in advance. Now, if you was doing this at home, well, when you do this at home and when you email me and let me know how it turned out, uh, boil your pasta uh, as you're doing this. Because you're going to be in the house on the stove with multiple burners and not in the backyard with one burner. All right, so now that that's been kind of cooked down, what we're going to do here, I'm going to do a switcheroo here real quick. I'm going to take this off 
and put this on just to get it hot real quick. Just to get that uh, water back hot and put this pasta back on in there. And then we're going to go ahead and finish up with this meal. Ah, thank you, my so much. You said that the, 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 we have leveled up. Yeah, we have put in more cameras since uh, over the last year with the split screens and whatnot. We are trying. And I will say this because, look, when you give me some ideas, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it out. I think it was either my first or second show you were on and you made a couple of recommendations. One was adding in more cameras so you could see into the pot. The other one you did was being cognizant of my background. That's when I was doing the, uh, a show in, in the inside kitchen and I had a red shirt on, which I hadn't planned it, on a red background. So again, thank you for giving me them comments, uh, feedbacks, constructive criticism. And for the rest, you please send me your constructive criticism because I do indeed listen to it. And if it makes uh, sense, I'm definitely going to go ahead and incorporate it uh, in there. All right. So we ain't got to get this water boiling. We just got to make sure it's hot. And we're going to add this pasta right back into it. To go ahead and let me do my Frozone interpretation again. Bring me my super suit. Hey, can you do me a favor and give me that pasta uh, spoon out of there? Some, some things ain't, ain't changed. Uh, <laughs> I remember my earlier shows, <laughs> I was always yelling about something I forgot. <laughs> Somebody was like, man, you sound like Frozone. Like, well, bring me my super suit. <laughs> All right, so as this go ahead and heats up, about two or three more seconds in there. Um, top off my wine. That's one thing I, I think I'm going to learn one of these days is the profiles. I just know what I like to drink. I don't know an old vintage or age wine from one from the other. I just know it's in my price range and I like it. Thank you very kindly. All right, so now we're done with that. Let me go ahead and mix these up. Because the one disadvantage about cooking pasta early, it will unfortunately stick on you and ain't really too much you can do about that. Um, when you cook it this advanced, so I'm going to go ahead, uh oh, let me move this over here. Move my trivet. I think that's what they call the trivet. And go ahead, shut this off periodically. Wait a minute, this thing locked? Probably did on me. Shut this off for a minute, and we're going to go ahead and add this pasta right back on in there. All right, I think that's enough pasta for a moment. Get this out of our way. And I'm going to go ahead and use this to go ahead and ghetto toss this. I'm going to toss that on in there as such. Add this bacon right back on in there. And once we get that nice and tossed, get those tomatoes all incorporated up in there. Then we're going to go ahead like why you don't get the proper utensil? Well, because that gum and I don't like washing dishes. I'm going to go ahead and put that in here and then add in a little bit of this Parmesan cheese. Oh, and when I say Parmesan cheese, don't y'all go get that green can that, you know, we grew up on. Get you some actually grated Parmesan cheese. Let's go and mix that in there. And after that melts, that's almost nice and melted. Add in 
some fresh chopped Italian parsley. It ain't got to be Italian, but that's just what I chose to use in this. We could be the other parsley as well. Turn this off. And there you have it, folks. Real simple uh, dish. If you just now tuned in or catching the end of it, we did a BLT uh, uh, skillet, bacon, linguine, and tomatoes. So we took some uh, bacon, browned it off, added, took it out the pan, cooked in some uh, uh, tomatoes, garlic, a little bit of lemon juice to cut that, uh, that uh, saltiness, give a little acidity to it, um, kosher salt, black pepper, tossed in some Parmesan cheese, then added the bacon and the linguine back into it. Now let's go ahead and move this out of our way and give this a taste test. I might do a series because my daughter asked me about uh, simple cooking things that make it look kind of good, like I guess for, you know what, now I think about it, I think she was asking me about a date. I don't know if I like that too much. Oh, yes, so uh, my issue was asking, did I leave the uh, skin on the tomato? Yeah, I did leave the skin on these. If that's a texture issue for you, you can blanch these in some warm water, run them under some cool water and peel them off. But I left them uh, on here. The one thing I will caution you, if you're going to take the skin off, it will render out way more liquid than um, it did in this dish because it has nothing to protect it with. But you can absolutely take the skin off of it. Let's go ahead. Matter of fact, can I give you all a tighter shot in there and move this out of the way. We don't, we, don't, we don't need the big pan no more. We can I zoom in. That ain't the prettiest plating. My cousin Whitney gonna be like, you and that dead gun plate. Let's go ahead. We ain't here for plate. We here for tasting. Let's see what it tastes like. Grab some of these tomatoes and some of that bacon. Mm. That's good. I will. Mm. That does actually do taste like a BLT, but I ain't gonna lie, I was kind of concerned about the the um, the lemon juice, but absolutely added. Now, this is what you can do for those of you that might uh, not want to see what. Oh yeah, so good good point. Uh, should make a comment about uh, the pasta water. Do not drain your pasta. Actually, let me get back to this part. One, the lemon juice. Uh, the one thing I noticed about it when I put it in there. Uh, it does cut the saltiness of the bacon and the garlic and everything else you put in there. But if you don't really like a lemony taste, put it to the side and add it after the fact. Uh, but the dish to me is, is great. It's light. Um, but it will be fulfilling as well because you do have the pasta in there. Back to the pasta water um, uh, comment. Yes, so whenever you're making pasta, especially if you're doing something that, that uh, has a sauce to it, don't drain your pasta over the sink like we always done and throw that pasta water away. Keep you at least a cup of pasta water because as you cook that pasta, all that starch renders out into the water. And when you're making sauces, if you need to thicken it up or change the consistency of it, that pasta water is exactly what you need. You don't want to just put some regular water in there. That pasta water will help keep the thickness that you need with the sauce. And also, it also if it's too thick, it also dilute it without making it watery. So definitely... Keep that in. I think I had another comment on here. Oh, <laughs> I'm reading a bunch of comments, and that was, okay, you know, that's one I want to answer. So, yeah, definitely uh, keep that in there. Now, when it comes to pasta, I know y'all done heard them old wives' tales about throwing it against the wall. Dead that. That crap don't work. Cookie pasta, I'd advise, if you're doing dry pasta, you know, normally they say about 9 to 12 minutes. About two or three minutes before the pasta is done, take a string out or take a piece of pasta out and test it. If you want that chewiness, what they call al dente, which is more of a bite, then you go ahead and pull it from there. If you want a more complete cook, you go ahead to the, to the uh, limit of uh, 12 minutes. When they put those times on there, that's usually not for the al dente. But since pasta is a grain that absorbs water at its own rate, do not sit there and think, oh, 12 minutes is going to give you perfect pasta because it ain't. You're going to have to stay... One of my mottos is you can't cook in the bedroom. You're going to have to go back or stay with the pot. It ain't but 12 minutes if you're doing dry pasta. And if you're doing fresh pasta the way I do, it takes you four minutes. Stay with that pot and go ahead and test it. 
as always folks i do appreciate y'all joining in with me again please hit that subscribe button if you're on youtube hit that notification bell so that you know we're on like and follow us on facebook please follow us on instagram and tap into us on tiktok for this show and our previous shows please visit us at createsimplemeals.com email me at askme at createsimplemeals.com while you're on there, hit that chat button. You can talk with me directly. And please share this video with your friends and family alike. Until next week, folks, remember, we only got them three rules. You must have passion. You must have patience. And you must be willing to practice. We will see you hopefully again right here next Tuesday with a hopefully another edutaining meal. See you soon, folks.